Good morning guys, BTC Simmer here with you. Afternoon, good evening, no matter where you may be. Back in on air here and we're going to plan our two flights that we have remaining in our missions. <laughs> Alright, so we flew down from Inverness to Campbelltown yesterday. Now we have to go north, north uh, northwest, up to Tyree. Is it Tyree? And then uh, head over to Edinburgh. So, in order to get these uh, this experience and this pay, so we just, we've done that one. We can see that, and we have these two left. So E G E C E G P A U. Four hundred forty-seven pounds. How many nautical miles is that? How did we find out that? So let's see. 75. Right here where it says distance. <laughs> Obviously. And then a little further back to Edinburgh. So it's a shorter flight up to Tyree and then a bit longer to Edinburgh. So. Alright, so let's get this one on the go. And our 8 9 or 3 Tango Cessna. Alright. So arrive, so that's good. So hold on now, this isn't, yeah, okay. This is staying here, obviously. This is going out. <laughs> so lots of loading, uh, what do we got for fuel? 20 gallons, should we fuel up here? Sorry, we don't we don't have twenty gallons. We have eleven eleven gallons. I was looking at the percentage here, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, we had twenty one yesterday, so we didn't burn one gallon coming all the way down here. <laughs> well, look at that, Ben Becula is our alternate. Did a video on that one. Been there a couple times. So, guys, I haven't checked any weather or anything. I don't know what the conditions are. Probably be a good idea to check that out right now. So let's have a look. E G E C. We got two knots variable, so no worries there. And it's based off of E G P I, which I believe is Islay Airport. And then we'll go E G P U. Just three knots, two seventy VFR. So we're looking good. Looking good for the weather. Good day to do this. So that weather can change up in that area for sure. So we can. It's a 70, what was it, 73 miles? 75 miles. So 161 range, range with our reserves. We have enough. However, should we buy more fuel? So that we can go Tyree and then off to Edinburgh. How about we do that? So our gross weight's 22. I can go right up to 25 so we can fit another couple hundred pounds. It'll be heavy, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and slide this. So our gross weight's around 23 there, that looks good. Payload and fuel is now 803 pounds. And then we have 27 gallons, which gives us range with a reserve 328 miles, nautical miles, so that's, that's really good. Fuel price is 94.10 per gallon. Holy smokes. No, that's the total fuel price that, uh, yeah, looking at it wrong. <laughs> One day, I'm sure it will be. Let's go validate.
Okay, so that's ready to go. We can hit fly now. Yes, it's going to track it. I don't have the sim open, so it's going to say a bunch of red X's here. No big deal. So now we'll run over to our sim brief here and we'll create new flight. EGEC, we'll go EGPU, go aircraft, we'll go Cessna. Here's the road it's got for us. So remember now it changes everything. So we're gonna get our uh, registration in there or registration in there. There it is, it's saved in there. So this is, oh yeah, it's down here, Bruce L62 TIR. So it's 86, so no big deal, that's fine. We can do that, so go Bruce. L602 airway and then TIR. And then we're just going to write down our runways that it give us. So 29 and 5. I didn't really want to do 29 at the uh, EGEC because it's where we're sitting there is a long taxiway all the way back down. So we could go half the runway or something. Or we can just change it here since the wind is variable. Um, sits and stars, no big deal. We can just do 11, so we can do that. So no big deal, we got 11 and then arrival is 5. So there's a few, uh, four runways here. I have never been here, so I do not know. I don't, I really don't think I, I have, have been here. So 0, 05 would be, looks like it would be that runway there. Anyway, we'll go, that seems to work for us. So we'll go analyze route. Uh, no, not analyze, we'll go sky vector. And we get a little better view of the airport. Okay, so zero 05, yeah, it's gonna shoot up that way. So you can think of the compass, you think 360, zero, and then one, two, three, right? And so on, so, so Tyree Airport. So we're gonna look at the runway here, so zero 050. Zero. Zero five zero, just how I was doing the other day, guys. Remember the uh, flight planning one one seven point seven zero BRVOR. This one here, range point four, so it's right there in case we get lost. And then we can go off of Barra for our NDB should we want to, but I'm not going to. And it's always handy to write down other compass headings of other runways should you be. Uh, um, should the wind change or something, you know, or air traffic or whatever, whatever happens. Can't see air traffic being too much in our way on this one, but. All right, so that is that, and the uh, surface here is hard, and this one's unknown, so this could be like a little grass runway or something. Judging by the size, it doesn't look very, very big, but uh, okay, here's your information, all this stuff. So we got our frequency written down, we have our flight plan. Um, even when we're flying up this way, we can, uh, you know, we can just direct to TIR and I'll shorten our route drastically, but we'll probably follow it for the most part. Uh, I don't see why not. And see this 602 here, this comes from Bruce to TIR. So if we go world, I think it would be world low. So this is a two-way airway. That's what, the, uh, that's what that means. Let's find, uh, see if we can find one. I know a few things I don't know too much about this, but this is a one way. You can't go uh, north on this one. You can only go south. And yeah, that's about as much as I know about that. I'm not exactly sure what the 6,000 means. Probably could look it up very easily, but uh, I think it's uh, max. Since it's a low, I, I'd assume that it's maximum height, maybe. Maximum altitude. You can be on that, and then you're, you'd be in world high. Perhaps I, I could be very wrong, but we'll go back to Campbelltown and then we'll look at the uh, the 11, and that's 108, so just obviously the opposite of uh, 2 niner. 
and then 116 for the VOR. And we also have an NDB ADF here. Not gonna bother with. Okay, so that's the flight plan basically wrapped up and we'll just come back up here and we will go generate route. Did I miss anything? No, I got the time I'm doing it right now. So generate, it's generating it. So there's our flight plan. We can come down to pre-file on the network or you can do it from up here. So here we're in, and then uh, we're on VATSIM. You can go to other ones too. I've never used anything else. I've only ever used VATSIM. So hit pre-file, bring you right to your flight uh, planning page on VATSIM. It takes a sec here. I don't know why it always takes a little bit, no big deal. And they want us at 4,000 again, which uh, we could do. I don't, I don't see why not. We'll probably stay out of the clouds we do that. That was in its uh, EGPK, so. So let's just jot down our altitude for this one, 4,000. We'll go file plan. See the gears turning, and there it is up there. File, uh, flight plan, filed, enjoy your flight. Okay, so that's all done out of the way. We can come back down to on air. It looks like we're ready to go here. Um, what did I get for the... I just wanted the fuel information. We'll come back home here and we'll go to aircraft. I believe this is where I get it. Manage. Da, 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 fuel. Oh, here it is. 12 of 56 gallons. That doesn't sound right at all. We just loaded fuel in, did we not? Anyway, no big deal. <laughs> I can find that after. Um, all right, so we're we're good to go here. We got our fuel loaded, got our cargo. We're 810 pounds. We'll probably find it out from that. Go to pending. Oops. Where did I end up here? I ended up, uh, I gotta go back to our flight. So, in, in flight, yeah. Aircraft. Resume your flight. That's the one I wanted. Okay, guys. All right. Okay, so next step is opening up your sim and uh, going ahead, all right? And that's where we will uh, end this one and uh, see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're ready to go here at uh, Campbelltown. And uh, we're loaded with our cargo, headed up to Tyree. EGPU, Echo Golf, Uniform, Papa. We're in the Bagaloo 172, Bagaloo 172. Beautiful airplane. Um, Link in the description, uh, flightsim.to. And our cargo today, a couple barrels, a couple smaller ones and a larger one. So we're good to go with that. We've got some clutter left over from the last flight, no big deal. All right. So we did our planning, got our rope ready, everything's ready to go. Fuel is loaded. Just have to run back into on air and uh, hit the start tracking button. No big deal, we'll do that now. You guys won't be able to see because I'm in game capture now. So, got all the green check marks anyway and uh, start tracking. Okay, so that's worked out for us. We're tracking this one now. We're ready. See, so you got all the covers on pedo cover, engine covers. All right. Jump on in and uh, as per usual guys, speed this part up for us.
Alright guys, ready to taxi here. Okay, so we've got our taxi light on, our strobe lights on, navigation's looking good. Alright, set our trim before we do forget, but we'll do the run up and we'll have it then, but right. We'll spin a U-turn out of here. Or maybe not. Maybe we gotta get taxied backwards. <laughs> A little too close to the building. No big deal. Push back, manual push back. Just get pushed back. Turn us this way. Let me go ahead and stop there. Should be alright. Taxi glasses on. <laughs> Campbelltown traffic, uh, November uh, 389 or 3 Tango taxiing from the south hangars to runway 11. Uh, type Cessna 172. Uh, Campbelltown traffic. I remember how to get out of here. The ADC isn't very informative and it doesn't have anything marked, so. Ah, that's okay. Nice calm day for the wind, which is nice. Kind of go off of our uh, GPS there. We can see. Look at what we're looking at. And there's a big displaced threshold on this runway, so we'll get up here and then we'll make a left turn. Be right on track. Displaced or unused or something, but. We can get away with doing our run-up right on the runway here. No big deal. Not a busy airport. Okay, so we'll grab this. Next. Run up one. The controls free and correct. They seem to be moving. Temperature is set, altitude selected, standby instruments are okay, mixture is rich, fuel selector is on both, I believe, yes it is. Autopilot, we won't bother with that test, elevator trim is set, yes, it did set it earlier, magneto checks, fine, we'll ignore those, don't ignore those in real life. Don't want to be in for some sort of surprise, we did check the flaps earlier. Pedo heat, uh, we're not going to bother with it right now. Correction, we are. And it is on. <laughs> Before takeoff gate, okay, everything's looking good. Alright, we're ready to go here. We take off, climb to a thousand, make a left turn. On to course, do our gums check, uh, gas, undercarriage, mixture, and switches, which will include flaps and landing lights. Alright. Amazon traffic, uh, November 389er, 3 Tango, taking off runway 11, departure to the north. Hamilton. <coughs> yeah. 
airborne time wall. We can go ahead and shut this. <laughs> okay, 400 feet, so we'll do our uh, gums jack. Gas is looking good. Um, we're on both, right? Yes, we are. Undercarriage, we can tap the brakes. Got some right rudder in there. Uh, mixture is full. Yes, it is. And switches, flaps can go up. And landing lights. <laughs> uh, guys, I forgot my landing lights again. It's not in the run-up check. I, I continuously forget them. So I just turned them on now for a couple hundred feet. Anyways, uh, switches, pumps are off, and looking good. Okay. And then 1,000 feet landing lights. There we are. Camelot okay, traffic, uh, November uh, 9 or 3 Tango, making a left turn onto course. Airborne, 1,200. Camelot. Well, a nice little ascending turn. Nice when there's calm wind. Let's zoom this out a little more. Okay, just overcorrect on our GPS there. That's fine. Right over the wind farm. So we're only going up to 4,000 today, so. Short little climb here. A little high in the speed department right now. Yeah, just a beautiful day for flying, guys, for sure. If you're flying around here. Make a nice little screeny here. <laughs> screeny, screenshot. <laughs> we're at about a thousand feet almost per minute. No, we're losing speed now, but. Okay. 35, let's check our mixture. Kind of forgot about that. Come back a little bit here. There we are, 2560. 2570. Okay, looks like 2570 is where she wants to be. And we'll straighten out onto course. Nice shallow turn. Looks like we're getting some icing on the windshield. I could imagine the carbs getting nice too. Okay, let's check that mixture again. Go full for a sec. Let it heat up in there. Break off any ice. And come back. Oh, and we're much higher. For some reason, I thought we were going 5,000. My bad. 
pull that throttle back, get back down to 4,000. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, we're 4,000 today, not, not any higher. <laughs> Sitting here at 48, wondering what's going on. Pull the throttle back. You'd turn on carb heat now, I, th I think, in real life, would you? Well, carb heat's one of those things, right? One of those things you need to know about. Yeah, we're 4,000. Sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Okay. Right around here is where we'll hang out. And we're looking pretty good. I think we can go ahead and autopilot there. Altitude and nav. And we'll increase our RPMs a bit. Let's say 2300. Right. 21 to 27 or 23, uh, that's autopilot. We can check the mixture again. Looks like 2360 there is a sweet spot. Engine gauge is checked. They're all in the green. Nothing crazy. M uh, FMS and GPS. Okay, that's fine for now. Guys, I will catch you on the other side. Alright guys, we're going to begin our descent here, 13, 14 miles away from Tyree, so power as desired. Slowly come back on the power, we're not that high, uh, sea level obviously down here, so we'll set 1000. I may have been here now that I think of it, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe in the Otter something along those lines. We'll go CDI, set this up for 05. So 050, where are we here? Zoom in a bit. 050. There we are. And we can start coming down now. Put her in VS mode, let the autopilot bring us down. Come back on the throttle. Okay, what else is saying here? Pressure, set that. And I believe that is right. 3027, yep, that looks good. Altitude set, flaps as desired. Okay, looking good. Just call them up and let them know what we're doing. Tyree traffic, uh, November 3893 3 Tango, type Cessna 172, is 11 miles east, east uh, southeast to land, runway 05, a uh, right base for uh, 05. Tyree traffic. Edge, connect right base there and make our turn. As you can see, the airport's right there. We're kind of parallel with the runway. Well, not really, but where we're looking. So I think 
think what we should actually do is fly toward the airport. A little more toward it anyway. Give us an idea of where the runway is and then uh, line ourselves up properly. There's a few centers on, but nothing too crazy. London South Center, 129 or 425. that. Tyree traffic, uh, November 389er, 3 Tango is base for runway 05, uh, visual full stop, Tyree traffic. Okay hey guys, you can see 05 there, the threshold, Just having a hard look for it, hardly see it, but we got her there. Lining lights are on, do a gums check, gas looks good, both undercarriage tapped brakes, mixtures full and switches. We can throw down a couple of degrees of flap, uh, one degree of flaps, and then set our turn to final here. All right. Tyree traffic, uh, November 9 or 3 Tango, turning final, runway 05, uh, full stop. Tyree traffic. Hey, a little early, but that's all right. And the wind's fairly calm here as well, guys. I think we have, what is it, three knots it's saying here, based off of Echo Golf Echo Oscar Airport, but no big deal. I'll throw another degree of flaps on there and get ourselves down or a little high. Okay, do another gums check. Gas is good, undercarriage brakes. Mixture full, landing lights on, pedo heats on, pumps are off. We've got every other light on we need, strobes, beacons, navigation. Okay, and flaps are set, autopilot, I don't know why it's doing its thing there. But it Wing is zero off. four zero at eight knots. So zero four zero it says here and three knots it says there, but on air might be a little more accurate and no big deal. 500. So 500 feet, we're just under a mile.
landing time log. Oh, a little hard there. That's okay. Not much of a flare. <laughs> a different seating position in this one, but no biggie. Looks like we'll taxi down this Bravo 1 or this other runway here. It's off to the left. Tiger traffic, uh, November 9 or 3 Tango is clear of the act of taxiing uh, Bravo to Alpha. Tiger traffic. That's a bit of a, like a drop down landing, just fell out of the sky kind of deal. <laughs> Dropped the throttle right, uh, right at the threshold, so. Here's a disused runway. You can see. I'm just going off the ADC on AirMade here, and it tells me where to go. Okay, guys, I want to say I've been here, but I'm just really not sure if I have or not. <laughs> right. Anyway, we'll get a shut down. What'd you guys think of that one? Wasn't too bad. Landing, after landing, after landing. We'll go flaps are up. Yes, they are. We did all this. Taxi lights can go off. The strobe can go off. Elevator trim, we set it to neutral. Looking pretty neutral. Parking brake set. Yes, it is. Avionics bus one and two off. Engine idle, magneto check. You can do that if you want. I'm not gonna bother. Idle cut off. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Okay. The master's off, and all the lights can come on. Okay, guys. There's our flight for today. Get the cargo unloaded here. Our handy dandy book. This is awesome. Awesome plane by Beglu. Tie downs we'll use. External covers and wheel chocks. Let's go here to this cargo page and then go unload down here. Boom, check it out. Cargo is unloaded. 
me fire up my controller and we'll head out this door. There we are. Cargo from Campbellton to Tyree. And next we're off to Edinburgh from here, so that'll be that. Make a nice shot here. Real nice shot. Why the one thing just uh why the bank doesn't work, but that's okay. Bank right and left. Take a nice shot there. We'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Stack 'em sats, and we will catch you on the next one. Appreciate it.